today we're doing a swap of the original wherever this shit is what is this part called stereo the stereo now nah, this this the the main thing it's the name for this this part here but anyway we changed the stereo from this old thing to the sony i feel like there's not enough of these to show you how it's done and stuff the sony xav blah blah carplay and blah blah you get that from halfords right so we got that here in the back which is this and it looks like that pretty much all right um so that's the item and then what you gotta do I'll just give you a quick summary and i'll do the breakdown so we're really taking the bottom part off you just put a screwdriver in here flick it down a bit and it should come off same with the top each side and it comes off here there's there's a four bolts here the one bolt at the top one bolt at the top one at the bottom one at the bottom screw them off what is it uh are they 10 mil yeah 10 just mil. 10 mils to take them off um and then this just if you just show them how it comes off and it just comes off like that easy and then you've got one two and three and four at the back you just pull them off should be simple as that okay and then what you do need i think the main thing people forget is the the wiring cables for lexus not we bought it for toyota in halfords and it didn't quite fit so you need this which is a seat as you can see here i'll probably put it in the description as well that's the harness you need to fit it into the original thing which i've got at the back here as well in this box if i show you what it looks like really quick basically this i actually looked at it just before as well when i open it now it's actually a lot bigger as you can see the original one is massive so i'll do quick vids to show you a summary of everything how it's done and any complications come along the way just so i don't need to hold this the whole time uh probably best to use two people when it comes to unplugging this um if you can do it yourself but yeah so if you can't get under these if it's very stuck this is the tactic we did use a screwdriver underneath to push it open you might have your own way um let's see if you can get it out in raw time i don't know if this damages it but you know it does the job is it actually stuck, actually stuck. how do you okay great there you go just needs two people there you go and then that just comes off like that um what was the other thing oh yeah so yeah you need to take the glove box off as well which should be simple i don't know if there's any there shouldn't be any screws or nothing underneath just two screws okay um See, I feel like we didn't get enough how to change the stereos. We've looked ourselves on YouTube trying to see the IS200, IS300 changes. Um, so yeah, I think it's the same with IS300 as well. Same little layout here. Um, so these, that's the two things you need. That stereo and this Lexus converter. Um, the amp converter, yeah. Because you've got amp at the bottom left. Which most of you probably do. Um... So then the glove box comes off in a jiffy. Then you, you've taken all this off. The stereo goes there. You can you should be able to put both things back in normally. And I will cut to when it comes off. Well, actually, it might be just coming off now. Don't even need to cut to it. That's how quick and easy it is. Uh, we can just leave this in the back somewhere. You know, you're gonna have a bit of a mess at the back, but it's okay. So that's the amp. That's the amp down the left. As you can see, now you need to figure out where the cabling is there for the right and back. behind it. How the hell are we going to get to it? We might need to take the amp out. Take the amp out. Okay, I'll cut to the next part then. Right, so this was nearly like impossible, very hard to do. Had to take off this part here. Uh, I took off this, didn't need to do that. Took off the glove compartment, as you saw before. There was a bolt here attached to here. There's a bolt at the back that comes off. And I think there's another bolt somewhere. And then it's also clipped onto here, which is there, which you gotta do. Very hard to do. Then eventually you basically pull this out. You don't pull it out, but because the airbag will go off, pull a lot of it out. 
this is why you need two people you probably pull this out slowly have to pull that out and then it's gonna be on the left side if i show you from here on the left side on the back very hard to push in you eventually get it and then you bring it out here and and that's that and then eventually you just put this back how it is whatever you got the bypass cable that you're gonna put into here and the other cable which runs through obviously here blah blah the cables run there and then yeah i'll give you an update once we do that part very simple this was the ebay bypass cable that we're putting in now all this is going to be wired through here through there into here so as you can see this that was probably the hardest part of this all getting that shit to come out and once you do that it's just simple wiring hopefully as we bought correctly and that should go straight into yes yeah. and then that will come straight into here which is at the back very nice nice like that and it should turn on. if i turn on the car if i turn on the car this should now is it turning on is oh yeah, 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 it's turned Whoa. on. Oh, so okay. Lovely. Amazing. Wow, oh, simple. Who would have thought? Fuck my life. Alright, sick. Right, so we put everything back on. Um we put the adapter thing through here, put a zip tie there to make it a bit clean. Uh let it thingy, there we go. So attach those blah blah. What we're doing now is putting this bracket onto this and the climate control so you can still have a flush. But so in the kit it comes with this. And what you're going to do now, or well, what we're doing is we're going to break the little clips on from underneath uh, to make it a flush finish. So those little clips are just these three here. So if I show you. How do you break these ones? No, you don't need to break those. No, we do. You need to break them as well? Yeah. I think that doesn't that doesn't touch the thing though anyway. Yeah. It was just the clip, no? Or was, okay, I guess all, all of these then. Um... What's the best way to break it? Who knows? Screwdriver. Do the easy ones, innit? They're those three middle ones. They should just be peeler back. Should, these should break like this. Oh. Yep, just like that. If it wants to, it, if it wants to, yeah, it should do. So, we're well, basically we're trying to put the climate on there, that's going to go back there, that's fine. Then the thingy, the actual stereo, and put that on. And then I'll show you when it's done. And that's pretty, oh yeah, and then it comes with the speaker thing. So, whenever you want to pause the microphone, wherever it's called, I don't think, you know, I don't even think I'm going to use it, but it's good to have, I guess, if you got it there. So, yeah, that's it, easy. You just put that back on there, you get a bit of a weird fitment here if i'm honest but does the job this is back in it works and you got apple carplay and bluetooth and whatever you need so yeah don't want to get copyrighted and yeah 